For a long time, John Tyndall has been credited with the discovery of the greenhouse effect, but it wasn't until recently that scientists discovered the works of another American climate scientist and natural philosopher, Eunice Newton Foote, who actually discovered the greenhouse effect three years earlier than John Tyndall. So, who exactly is Eunice Newton Foote? Eunice Newton Foote was born on July 17, 1819, in Connecticut, USA, to Teresa Newton and Isaac Newton Jr., a distant relative to the infamous song hero Isaac Newton. In 1856, she became the first person to discover that greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide traps heat radiated from the sun, which helps to explain the greenhouse gas effect. Wait, that guy kept mentioning the greenhouse effect, but what is it? Well, you see, the greenhouse effect is the process that warms the earth and makes it livable. Without it, the earth would be freezing. Oh, I see. But how does it work? Firstly, the sun's rays warms the earth's surface, and some of the heat gets trapped in the earth's atmosphere by special gases like carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gas acts almost like a blanket, making the earth warm and toasty, but sometimes too cozy. That sounds so cool, but how did she discover the greenhouse effect? Well, we decided to take matters into our own hands to demonstrate the greenhouse effect, similar to how she first discovered it. In her experiment, she set up two cylinders, filled one filled with carbon dioxide and one filled with normal air. We then took both cylinders out of the shade and into direct sunlight to see how they both heated up. We can see that the thermometer for the cylinder with carbon dioxide heated much faster than the cylinder with normal air. This is exactly how the greenhouse effect on Earth works. Wait, is the greenhouse effect why global warming has been happening? The, well, the greenhouse effect has always been here, but us humans are making it worse by increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from car emissions, factories, and fossil fuel powers. This is exactly why her discovery is so important, because it allowed future scientists in the 20th century to explain and discover the causes of Earth's greenhouse effect. Unfortunately, Eunice Newton Foote passed away on September 30th, 1888, in Lenox, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, due to unequal views of women in the 19th century, combined with other circumstances, her works would become forgotten until their rediscovery in 2011.